What's up guys, Rondé Barber. And for the first time, we are doing film session in the off season. This is free agency edition. And as always, presented by Microsoft Surface. Today we're talking about Mike Evans. Let's go! Let's go, man! He's a legend! He's a Hall of Famer, boy! The biggest free agent fish in our pond is back in Tampa, and I'm here to tell you, tell you why. Like, I need to tell you why. He's a thousand yard receiving machine. He's the most decorated, will be the most decorated, probably ever receiver in Bucks history. He's an all timer. If you're got any kind of football knowledge, you don't let this guy out of your building, and I'm gonna show you why. With 13, only good things happen. I mean, 13 is not normally good, but for us, it's good. All right, what makes Mike Evans great? It's a lot of things, obviously. He's big, 6'5", 230. He can big board defensive backs. He's faster than you think, and he has great hands. And I'm gonna show you examples of all those uh, today in this film session. All right, let's go back to the Chicago game early in the year. Now, Mike's down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, this little play action pass where, you know, receiver and quarterback just getting to know each other here, right? This is what I think they call this circus. Uh, it's a great route actually by Mike. He stems this corner outside. He's actually beat him up over the top, but he's gonna have to sit down. The route is designed to sit down. So if you're 29 right here, this guy right here, when I, when I looked at this on film, I said, this is an interception. This is an interception by 29. Baker just do an interception. And then, nope, uh, I'm bigger than you. I want this ball more than you, and get out of my way, kid. And makes a great completion, and then picks up uh, uh, however many yards that is, 70 something, something. Thank you, Alec, for that. Big first down, down in the red, into the red area for the Bucks. Mike Evans doing Mike Evans things, right? Playing big. That is the best thing about him. The size and the ability to make these contested catches define him. All right, next play. Mike has uh, never really been given credit in his career for being a great route runner. Now, when I put the film on, I see a lot of great things with Mike, especially in his ability to stem defensive backs. The purpose, the, with the intention of moving them out of space. This is Marshawn Lattimore right here, number 23, best corner on the Saints. He's a former All-Pro, he's had some injuries, and they have great battles. Mike wins this one because of the route that he runs. Now, so he gets this reduced split, Reduce split in here. What do you do when you reduce splits? You're only reducing them to expand you. But this corner is an outside technique. Hey, look how he's three or four yards lined up outside of Mike. He should never be able to get outside of him. But because Mike stems him vertically right here, watch the path of this route. It's like that and that, and then bangs it to the, to the, to the corner and makes this an easy throw for Baker. He gets Marshawn turned around, big completion. I'm sure they got up yapping, talking about how good or bad either one of them are. Uh, awesome route by Mike. All right, the one thing that separates Mike, I think, from the other big play receivers in the league is his ability to make really tough catches, right? Now there's some great hands guys out, out in the league. I don't know if Mike's a great hands guy, but he makes tough catches. And we remember this one from early in the season against Philly. This is just all it seems, right? Seam, 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 seam. This is a check down over the ball. And Baker, uh, actually, these guys are stopping out here because they're getting off coverage. But the seam through the middle is where Baker wants to put this ball. And this throw is high, kind of outside, there's only one way for Mike to get this, get this, make this catch, and it's with one hand. You can't really see it from this angle, but I'm sure the video, uh, the, the TV copy, highlighted this ad, ad nauseum, because this is an unbelievable catch. And from the end zone, we get a better example of just how good it is. Look how long Mike Evans gets right there to make that catch. Right there, look at that. He goes from being 6'5 to about 7'2 uh, with, uh, with that extension, and then one hands it, brings it in, bam, great catch. Uh, didn't matter in this game, but it was a great catch. Here we go, another one. Mike has the ability, and we use him this way, to line up all over the football field. Now, he's an outside receiver and a reduced split again, but they're really just trying to get him the slot. Most of the tight end outside. You get Mike now one on one, or at least in versus zone versus a linebacker. And he's going to win. 
of course he's going to win. He's got enough quickness to get past 55 here. But what is amazing is this catch. This ball is delivered before Mike comes out of his break, and it's a little high and away from him, and he feels this safety, right? Look how shallow this safety is. He's not pedaling his feet at all. There is going to be confrontation right there, right, between Mike and this safety, and he goes down to protect himself and still makes this catch away from his body. Great hands catch here by Mike. It's, to me, those type of plays separate the good from the great, and Mike has definitely showed over his 10 years here how great of a receiver he is. Look at this, look at that catch. That ball's almost past him when he pulls it in. All right, my favorite one of Mike from last season is the skinny post against the Indianapolis Colts. Now, at top of your screen, this is Mike right here. This is just a little skinny, uh, single high. They're playing man, obviously. Single high safety, so this ball's gotta fit in here. Now, what's amazing about this catch is not the completion, is that it's, it's versus zero, right? This guy's got him, he's got him. He's kind of playing over the top, but this guy has the tight end, right? Or at least looking for him, kind of zoning out. So Baker has to throw this with some urgency, right? He's got to get this out fast and quick. And so he throws a bad ball. This is not a good ball, but it's high. And watch Mike climb this ladder and then climb it again. <laughs> I'm going to go five rungs up. And then I'm gonna go three more rungs up and get about eight feet tall to make this catch. This is amazing, amazing catch by Mike Evans. And from the end zone, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. From the sideline, you can't really tell. But watch him go up, there's an initial jump, and then I'm gonna go up some more and go take this away from everybody, take it down to the one yard line. Great, great completion. He's always been that guy. What Mike has also always been and what most defensive players don't give him credit for is his ability to run by you. He is 6'5", 230, right, Alec? 6'5", 230, and I don't know what he runs, but on film, he's going by everybody. Watch what he does here to the Houston Texans. They're playing quarters coverage here. So when this safety gets a tight end to the flat, this is essentially a double on Mike right here, right? and. He lulls 21 to sleep with this kind of, you know, gingerly release off the line of scrimmage, and then I'm gonna drop down to the third gear and go by you. Just runs by him, but both of them. That should not happen versus quarters, but because Mike put him to sleep and then put the Jets on, big, big completion. And you guys know that I have to show this one against A.J. Terrell in the Atlanta game, because again, they're He's on the line of scrimmage, man to man. They're showing that this is, if you're Baker Mayfield, this is the only throw you want because these guys are rotating both this way and AJ Terrell, a bit off a little bit more than he can chew. Watch the stutter and look how fast Mike is at full speed down the sideline and then just runs away from him. I mean, that's, what do you do? If you're a corner, what do you do? 6'5", 230. He can run, he can catch, and he just embarrasses you time and time and time and time again. He's faster than you think. He's better than you think. He's probably even better than we give him credit for, but he's ours and we'll take him. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.